Hi, uh, so I want to show you how to create a free Postgres database on render. So what we have to do, we, we go to render.com. When we go to render.com, we shall say something like this. If you're not sign, signed up, you should sign up or log in. Even log in, you should log in. So I got here to the dashboard. I click on the dashboard, it will take me to the dashboard of render. So, render dashboard. So now, so we we go to new project you see i still i have some projects that are here already i i also have a postgres project running so let's go to new we want a new postgres database so let's give it an any name let me say you're creating a football app a soccer app so you can give it that name that instance this is the postgres instance it's not the name of the database soccer app then if you don't put something here on the database name they will automatically generate for you but let's put again soccer app again So user, so if you're going to use your your local computer, you have to use root here. So region I can leave it as default or you can change it if you want. The version you can change it if you want, but I'll stick with 15. API key, I don't think I require that. <laughs> I don't know what I don't know what that does, but we don't require that it's optional. Then these are the packages they have. We have a free package which is almost the same as the starter package. So yeah, for testing purposes, we shall go with a free version. Now, yeah, we can create the database after that. So when we create a database, it will take us to, I already, if you have a free one, they can't allow you to do that. But after creating the, the, the database, it will take us to a page like, like this, to take us to a page like this, to show you something like this, to give you the connections that you need, the name of the, uh, the name of your database. Uh, so uh, so everything you did last last time it will show here. Then you can do anything in the future. You can add payment to upgrade if you need more connections. So so in our in our app in our applications we shall use either of these two external database URL or internal database URL. But if you're going to work on your with your local, you have to use this the external database URL. So you copy that. Or if you want, I think I think this can work also. But mainly use this the external database URL. So copy that. So when you copy that, if you also want to delete your database, you can delete it here or you can restart it. So you copy the external database URL and you go to your to your to your node app right now i'm using it but you can use it that, that you are on any other project you're doing so on my node app i'll come to my dot env file i'm also using prisma so prisma database url is here it's connected to my dot env file which is here so 
this is the database url of that database i was showing you that is after you copy the external the external database url then you paste it here in the database url then you use it in your app in any way so this is the url that you have to put in your app so that you can use for for connection for creating creating all the tables so on so on so you can see mine is working so let's try out uh via prisma i'm trying out the user controllers you can see them i see that mine is working and i'm saving uh, i can sign up using the, the database I'm, I'm i'm using currently which is the which is from render so i can use it to get other users let me give you an let me run this and show you so if i run this it's going to bring user i like it's going to bring what's this uh get all users this is get all users it's going to bring all the users from the from the database which is which is uh remote or which is online from render so we are having we, we go to the user endpoints want to fetch all users so these are fetched from a database on render when you click it's fetching all the users from render and they're coming from the database which we, 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 we which is already hosted on render so yeah that's it uh, you can yeah that's it from me i think you've learned how to get a free a free running database out of the box from render which is very simple <laughs> instead of struggling with connections and stuff you can use this thank you bye obviously don't forget to sub subscribe and like uh, share the video with your friends that may be may use use it for good purposes obviously <laughs> bye